The Mac Mini was the best performing computer you could get at the time of the M1's release. Thanks to its superior cooling over the M1 MacBook Air and Pro, it outperformed those with ease. And compared to other computers across the board, you couldn't really get anything that could perform at that level for that price. So why did Apple remove it from their lineup after only being around for two years? Well, the alternative to completely removing the M1 from the Mac Mini would have been to have both the M1 and the M2 in the product line, just at different price points. Putting the M2 above the M1 would have made it a little bit expensive. So logically, what they would have had to do is sell the M2 at $599 and the M1 a little bit less at $499. So why didn't they do that? There's just not enough of a performance gain for the average user to justify buying the M2 over an M1. So that's why Apple didn't do it. Because everyone would have bought the cheaper M1 instead of the M2 making less money for Apple. But why do I say that there's not enough of a performance gain? Because the M2 is objectively better. Well, I've been daily driving the base model M1 chip since it was released, both in my MacBook Air and in my Mac Mini. The Air is for my day job, and the Mac Mini has been my main 4K video editing and music production machine, and it's been amazing. It was ideal in the studio environment because the Mac Mini was never worked hard enough for the fans to start kicking in. So the environment was always quiet enough for me to record with my really sensitive studio mics. But in cases where I did need to push the Mac really hard, it was capable of handling incredible workloads. And even if the fan did ramp up in those moments, it was quiet enough that I never noticed it. When it comes to things like 3D design, motion graphics and video editing, I don't think I need to say much. It's common knowledge now that every processor in Apple Silicon's lineup is absolutely brilliant and will outperform probably any custom PC you can build for the same amount of money. Anyways, so we've established that the M1 Mac Mini is going to be more than enough for your needs and will probably exceed your expectations. But you can't get one anymore. So what is the point of this video? Well, I'm here to tell you, you can get one for less than the $499 price tag that we spoke about. If you look on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or even Apple's refurbished store, it's not a stretch to think that you could get a used M1 Mac Mini for $200 less than the M2 Mac Mini. For $200 less, you still get an incredibly powerful machine, but if you're a power user, you have to think about it because there's more than just the chip that's different between these two machines. They have the exact same ports on the back with a small but important difference. The M2 model supports Thunderbolt 4, while the M1 only supports Thunderbolt 3. Also, when it comes to connectivity, the M1 supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, where the M2 supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. And performance-wise, the base M2 chip is faster than the M1, but not by a huge margin. In multi-core tests, it's around 12% faster, while in single core operations, it's only around 10% faster. So what should you do? It's a tough one. I'd love to say get a used M1 Mac Mini and call it a day. But when buying used, you have to be careful. If you're not aware of the scams that are going on on places like Facebook Marketplace, you could pay $400 to someone and never get your Mac. Where if you're buying the M2 directly from Apple, you know that it's going to get delivered to you. So I'll say this. If you're in the position where you can afford the M2 and you're deciding between the two of these, just get the M2 brand new and don't waste your time trying to save a few bucks. But if all you've got is $350 and you're confident in your ability to spot scammers, then start browsing for a used M1 Mac Mini. It's genuinely the best value desktop to exist around that price and trust me, you won't be disappointed with the performance. If this is your first time getting an Apple Silicon machine, I guarantee you that you're gonna be blown away regardless of which of these two you go with. I hope that helped. Bye.